close your eyes and breathe deep. You're trying to find some food that's good for the heart. Concentration, mindfulness, these things are good for the heart. You see it on containers of food, something is heart healthy. Well, we're talking about a deeper sense of the heart, the, the mind wanting to find true happiness. That's your true heart. And you look around in the world and you find some things that might seem tempting, but you realize, okay, they're, they're bad for your heart in the long run. You've got to look inside, find your nourishment in here. Because even many of the things in the world that are really good can cause a lot of sorrow if you try to hold on to them and try to find your nourishment there. It's best to live in the world from an attitude where you can be giving, because you've got more than enough inside, rather than trying to take some sense of well-being, a sense of happiness from things or people outside. Because the food outside can drain us of our strength if we're not careful. So we have to make sure that we've got good food inside. The food that can strengthen us. We have conviction that our actions really do matter, and the state of the mind really does matter. And then we really stick with that conviction. We're persistent in trying to give rise to good states of mind, learning all the skills that are needed to keep the mind in good shape regardless of what's happening outside. And you're mindful, mindful to keep those in mind, because there are many times when it's very easy to forget. So when you find yourself getting flustered, when you find yourself getting drained, okay, stop and get some good nourishment inside, getting the mind to settle down, giving it its time for itself, so it can have the strength to deal with what the world has to offer, because the world has to offer lots of ups and lots of downs. Some people say, well, we have to be willing to take the, the suffering with the pleasure, but it's the pleasure can really weigh you down, and it seems to be a lot heavier than, the, than all the pleasures could lift you up. This is why the, the Buddha's most heartfelt teachings were for people to find a way to put an end to suffering. So I don't have to keep coming back and back and back to the same old things all over again. Find a way out. And on the way out, okay, we give our gifts to the world, but we strengthen ourselves so that the gifts we give don't deplete us. So keep trying to look for your strength inside. Remind yourself, okay, this is where true strength is found. And the more you find the results there, okay, the more you'll be able to deal with whatever the world has to offer. You'll be a person of strength in it for yourself and for the people around you. But make sure you're always nourishing your heart well, because otherwise it can wear out. 